morning, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to the start of another weekly vlog. Hello, it is Wednesday. It is March. My desk is in chaos. As you can see, I'm starting to set up planner stuff and get situated for the day. I have been up. I had a very weird night's sleep. Uh, not a good night's sleep, a very weird and disjointed and, and broken up into little chunks kind of night's sleep. But then I got up and I had a conference call. I'm working on stuff for work that I had to do and it's just been, I'm very tired. It's been a very tiring seven days. I'm very tired right now and I'm trying to get my life in order. It's gonna be such, there's so much to do in the next seven days that I'm off, but hi, if you're new here, I'm a pharmacist and I work seven on seven off. So I just finished seven days of work and now I have seven days off. I have work things today and tomorrow and then Monday but they're all short, so hopefully it won't be too bad, but nonetheless, things. So I have to really get myself organized here. I have to film my planner, video my plan with me. I have to do my planner. I have to get my desk tidied up. I have to, I don't even know. I did some tidying in the kitchen. Look at this, look at this, how nice this is. that going for me right that's nice I did I did one thing I have a plan that I kind of wrote out and then my silhouette was just like I don't know acting up so I was trying to print my planner kit here's the planner kit that I'm using but there's this cute little pets on it it's like um St. Patrick's Day cute stuff it's very cute but my silhouette was acting up not as much as it has acted up so it was like moderate acting up in other words enough to be annoying and slow me down a little bit but we're good. Everything's printed now. I just sneezed and my nose is so stuffed up. It's raining. It's like really raining and yucky and that usually makes my sinuses bad. So, so I have to adjust my timing a little bit on my HB90. I'm going to do that and then I'm going to settle in, do my planner. I need to eat something I haven't eaten. I forgot to eat. I had Doritos at like 7 a.m. But I didn't have real breakfast. Okay, I have a lot going on and I have to like get myself organized so that I can process it all. Let's start on that. Okay, I put together my daily like overview plan here for my HP90. I had done some of this in, last night up until like here. And then I was like, I better finish this. And then I realized like I'm already behind because things took longer in the morning. It was a longer conference call and just things happened. <laughs> so what I think I'm gonna do, I was going to film my planner first and then finish editing my vlog. I think I'm going, I'm already behind, it's already 10 o'clock, so I think I am gonna make, cause I can eat breakfast while I'm doing this and I know I should eat, cause I don't know. I have this habit of forgetting to eat and then not feeling well. So I'm going to edit the vlog, make my breakfast, edit the vlog, and then I'm gonna film my planner. So that's the, that's the idea now. And then I can always take time off of here of tidying and putting up the decorations. I don't know that decluttering two drawers is going to take me a full hour anyway, so my HB90, I do want to do my plan, my goals video about my HB90 this month, this week, I guess, for the quarter and also for the month. I haven't filmed one of these yet, so I don't know how the structure is going to be, but I have to figure that out. But I might have my three goals are in this orange, pink, and blue. Those are my three goal colors. So this is working on like the last of like the cleaning stuff that I need to do. I wanna have clean house for clean mind. <laughs> so I don't know that that'll take me a whole hour anyway, so I can kind of adjust these two timings to make up for how I am behind on these. That's the plan. And then my goal is at 1 p.m. to do my Peloton strength workout, and then I can do that with stretch, take a shower, and then I have my review at 2.30, which is virtual online, so I don't have to worry about driving anywhere. So, all right, I'm gonna make breakfast and start editing the vlog. Okay, it is 12. 15. I have been doing nothing but editing this video since the last time that I checked in. It, it's only a 35 minute long video, but it took me so long to edit. And I think part of it is because I have a new camera setting on my phone that I record with that I think is taking a better quality video, but I can't tell if it's slowing me down when I'm doing my edits. I can't tell. It doesn't seem like it's that much bigger file wise but something's different so anyway it has been taking me so long so i finished the editing i have to put music and then upload it but like this took way longer than it should have 
All right, I just did my workout. I did a 20 minute full body. Man, that was tough, but I went up in weight already just from like a week of doing this. I mean, not like super up in weight, but I'm proud of myself. I was probably on the border of being able to go up in weight when I started, but I was like, couldn't do the endurance and like, man. So anyway, eight of 32 classes completed. My first week, eight of eight classes completed. I don't know when I'm able to go. I can't unlock the second week. I thought I was gonna start tomorrow, but I guess they're gonna make me take two rest days. So I gotta figure that out on my calendar, but pretty exciting. Look at me sticking with something. He got them big head. He got them no thoughts. Did you get stuck? You're very stuck. Oh, Mr. Man. What are we gonna do with you? We thought we were recording a video and we weren't, so let's do this again. Okay, ready, ma'am? Ready? You sit? Good girl. Can you show me your tippy taps? Show me your tippy taps. Come on. Where's those tippy taps? Let me see. Tip, tip, tip. They almost came out. Let me see them. Let me see them. Oh boy. Yeah, there they are, good girl. Oh my goodness, this is Bonnie. She's so perfect. Yes, those tippy taps are so perfect. You're such a good girl. You wanna go for walkies? Yeah, more tippies, good girl. All right, y'all, I'm trying to get back on track today. I'm trying so desperately to finish my last decluttering tasks on my HB90 quarter one stuff. So one of the things is to finish my drawers so that my house is tidier, because tidy house equals I can think better <laughs> for creative work. So I have done the easy drawers. I'm down to like three difficult drawers and this is one of them. I'm gonna try to sort this. Let's see. All right, here we go. So, I two things happened. One, I tried on shirts that I was like, I don't think they fit, and confirmed they don't fit, but they almost fit. Two, I tried on shirts that I didn't think fit and found out that they do fit, so they are in here. I love how you can just see the word shit. This says desert shit. <laughs> but just the word shit sticking out. Very nice. Anyway, I there's some shirts that I'm like, okay, I can part with. And then I was thinking there's some shirts that I like. Here, let me show you. Okay, these are shirts that I like. I got this in Acadia National Park, Dark Side, Dark Side, Dark Side of the Moose. It's like Pink Floyd. This was the race shirt from the Path of the Flood race that we did in 2018, I want to say. 2018 or 2019. It's a great race. I absolutely love it. It's in Johnstown. It follows the path of the famous Johnstown Flood. And then this is from Benzet, which is the elk capital of the world. <laughs> it's an elk bugling on the front there. I love him. But these, this is scratchy. This blue doesn't really like fit me. And this is scratchy. I'm not gonna wear these really again, but I love them. This was meaningful to me because I did this race. I used to work up in this area and I would go like leave early for work. I'd have to stay up there because it's like two and a half hours or three hours away. And I would have to stay there and I'd like get up early and go see the elk in the morning before I go to work. So like, it's special to me. And then this was our last trip that we took with my dad. And I just think it's like a cute little pun. So I was looking online. They have those places where you send in your old t-shirts that you don't wear anymore and they make a blanket out of them. And y'all know me and my blankets. I always need blankets. So I'm gonna start a separate pile of things that I don't think I'm gonna wear anymore, but that I like. And I'm gonna consider that and maybe look into that. So, but the end result is that there's actually room in here and I moved some shirts that were in another drawer into this drawer. So that's good too. And then I have some that I moved out that are like, once they fit me again, I will wear them. But right now they're just a little too tight, but progress. I was dreading doing this drawer and it actually was better than I thought it would be. Good job, girls. Good job. Walking together so good. Enjoying this pretty spring day. 
Oh my goodness, look how, look how good you are. Look how good. Hello everybody. It is a Friday night. It has been a day. I didn't even like film anything. Well, I think I filmed the fish fry. We did go to the fish fry when my mom came over. It's just been like a nonstop day. I feel like my video looks blurry. Does it look blurry? Does that look less blurry? I don't know. Anyway, I, this morning Layla had a vet appointment. She was the first appointment of the day at 8 a.m. And then that's out on McKnight Road now. They moved their office. And then I had my lash appointment at 10 15. If I could have just kept her with me, it would have been fine. I should have just asked the vet, like, do you guys want to just hang out with her for a couple hours? And they probably would have been like, we love her, yes. But so I drove out there, had her appointment. Then I had to drive home, drop her off. And then I wanted to write, which I did actually write. I wrote like 500 words today. I haven't written anything since November, so I wrote 500 words. That's a big deal. But I went to Eaton Park to write, and then I went to my lash appointment, and then I had to go to Trader Joe's because I was out of a few like the supplies that I eat every day. And then came home, my mom came over, we went to the fish fry, we did some stuff around the house, <laughs> and then she left at like 4.15, and I really wanted to be on Sarah Cannon's coffee chat because I'm usually either like working or something's going on and I, I never get to attend those. They're Fridays at four. And I was so tired and didn't feel well. So here's like the stupidest thing. This morning at the vet's office, I'm waiting for Layla because it was a tech appointment. She needed a shot and they did her toe trim. And so the vet, the techs just take her back. Like you don't go back for the appointment, you go back with the vet, but for the tech appointments, you don't. So I'm waiting for her to come back. So I was like sitting there on this bench. They have like all these benches set up. Oh God, no, that hurt. <laughs> I'll get to that. They have these benches like around the windows instead of chairs. And so I'm sitting on the bench and like leaning over looking at my phone. And all of a sudden I like breathed in and I felt something go like in my back. And it's like a pinched nerve and it is so painful. And I thought like, well, that's weird. And I tried to like stretch it out and I thought it would go away. It has been bad all day. And there's certain way, like I just putting my arm down like this hurt it. I have just been in pain all day. I tried ibuprofen, I tried heat. I tried using that little um, massage thingy. Like I had this pain in my neck the other day, I guess from sleeping on it or something, I don't know. And that's better now. And now it's moved down and it's like under my shoulder bone in the back and nothing is making it better. And I just, like walking was okay. We went for a little walk with the dogs because my mom is trying to, she's in physical therapy because she has hurt her back and she, um, they want her to do like, go for short walks every day if she can. So she's like, can we go for a walk since you have, they don't have sidewalks in her neighborhood. So she was like, you have sidewalks, can we go here? And I was like, okay. So we took the dogs for a little walk. So that was nice. And that didn't seem to really bother me. It's just like sitting, I can't sit at my desk. Like sitting at my desk was super painful to breathe. I was trying to like, put up some decorations and put away some decorations and like just bending over is really bad. So I actually came downstairs on the couch because sitting on the couch right now is better. Like the support on the couch here is better than my desk chair. So I brought like my, I didn't fill out my entire, like I just, the, today was just such a scattered day. It was like every time I started working on something, like I, I couldn't get into a group of anything because it was like an appointment and then I had a small break and then I had an appointment and then I had a small break and then I had a plan. Like it was just a rough day. So I'm very nervous because I have my long run tomorrow and if my back's not feeling better, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Although I don't know, maybe running will be okay. Sitting seems to be like the worst part and lying down. So standing seems to be a little better as long as I'm not like leaning over and I think it'll one more thing to stress me out. So I was not like have an appetite at all. And husband's like, you have to eat something. Like we ate our fish fry at lunch. And that was very good actually. That was the first time we've ever gotten Swiss Vale Fire Department. And they are like notorious for being one of the best fish fries. And somehow we've never gone there. So that was really good. But I just don't have an appetite now. Like I was hungry and then like it just went away. And I haven't eaten since it's 9.15 and we ate lunch at like new, no, two o'clock. Yeah, it's been like seven hours since I had a meal, so I need to eat. And I have to eat because I have to fuel for a 14 mile run tomorrow. So I was like, the only thing that tastes good is pizza. <laughs> so we ordered a little pizza and salads. And then, because we have two HelloFreshes left, so that'll be tomorrow and Sunday anyway, but just been in like a 
shitty headspace. I've been feeling down. I've been feeling sad. I'm not feeling well. I feel like I, I wasted the last three days. And I know that's not true. And like, I just started this off by saying I wrote 500 words today for the first time since November. Like I should be celebrating that. And Stevie and I talked and she was like, you should be proud of that girl. That's awesome. I'm so proud of you. And I'm not proud of me. I'm feeling like shitty and stupid and bad. So I'm in a bad headspace. I'm gonna try to work on something creative and maybe watch a movie and see if that snaps me out of it. But that's the, that's the update of the day. All right, everybody, starting my 14 mile run now. Fourteen miles, well, thirteen point nine six, but made it. It was rain almost the entire time, so I'm very wet. Did some trails in the middle there, as you saw, and now I'm ready to just take off my shoes and shower, get a hot shower, get some coffee. Yay! Runners, are you in your standing in the kitchen smelling bad and eating cold pizza era? Welcome. You're one of us now. It's Saturday afternoon, I'm going to meet Stevie for lunch to talk. It's like really, it's not really sticking very much yet, but it is really cold and snowy out here. Look, my poor magnolia tree, it's got blossoms. It's gonna freeze again. This is the third year in a row this has happened. Freaking global warming in Pittsburgh. Oof. Yo, I can't even see. <laughs> it's really, what is this? I was on spring. I had the windows open for three days straight. Why are we doing this? Where are we going? <laughs> Are we going to see Stella? Are we going to see Stella? And on the show? Yeah? You gonna get your picture with the Easter Bunny? Oh yeah? Yeah, you got your pretty dress on. You ready? Yeah, you ready? Oh yeah. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's go. Yeah, good girl. You ready? Yes, yeah, go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hello everybody, it is Sunday afternoon. It is Sunday afternoon because of the daylight savings thing. The snow stopped, went away, and now it is time for Layla and Amstel to get their photos with the Easter Bunny. Um, I don't know if Amstel is here yet, but we're gonna go in and at least get Layla's solo photos first, because she's usually what better behave before the boys arrive. But here we go. Here we go. Look at that pretty dress. Oh yes, pretty dress. So ready. Being so good, waiting our turn. Yeah, he's singing. There you go. Look how pretty you are. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah. Say, here comes trouble. Here comes trouble. Who is it? Who is it? Is it all the boys? All the boys. Oh boy. Yeah, I'm so excited! Oh, Hi, baby! Good boys! Oh, good job, boys! Look up here! Yeah, there you go! Grace, why are you so interested in the Oscars? You're so silly. Are you looking at mommy? Yeah, there's my baby. 
There she is. Yeah. Do you want a piece of shrimp? You want a shrimp? Good morning, everybody. My desk is an absolute mess right now because I decided to do one of my task blocks of sorting my scrapbook ephemera. <laughs> um, I just finished the 28 minutes task block and I don't know. I, I mean, these are all organized now. So what I do is these are like, I don't know, photo fo um, envelopes. They have a wonderful sound. Uh, I used to get things like this when I was a kid. When I was in like high school, I used to collect stamps. And this is what they would give us, the uh, stamps and these paper things. I think I have a nostalgia with it. But anyway, so I kind of label it for either month, so like June of 2023, or a trip or an event. So Central Coast trip in 2023 would be separate from regular May or April because there's going to be a lot that goes in there. Charlotte Marathon, Flatwoods Monster. <laughs> That's gotta go in here. That's the Charlotte Marathon. Anyway, so I kind of am like separating it out and then putting it into these things. And I have another, I have a whole box of these that I had done previously because I was really on top of this and then I got off track. So sometimes it takes a little while to figure out, like I don't know what this is from. I try to label these when I save these from my scrapbook. I don't remember what this is from. And I'm like, do I save it? Is it worth saving? Probably not. I could probably just throw that out, but. <laughs> Anyway, so this is what I'm working on. So I did one task block. I'm debating if I'm gonna do another one. I'll show you what. This is the bag that I was pulling this ephemera out of and it was totally full and now it's got, well, it's still kind of full. I don't know. Part of me feels like I should try to finish this bag. I'm gonna have a whole nother bag. I tried to estimate how many task blocks I would need to complete all of the ephemera that is like floating in space. And I don't know if I did it correctly or not. So I'm gonna check in with my notion and see but this is what I'm working on this morning. I'm gonna go do a workout in about an hour, and then I have a massage at 11. I have to stop into work for a short bit to go over something for our, we have to turn in like our annual action plan paperwork, so we have to do that today, me and my partner and our tech. But yeah, so this is where I was starting my day. I was like, I gotta get something off my to-do list because I feel like I've been a log the last two days. Good morning, everybody. It's Tuesday morning. I'm feeling terrible this morning. It's my last day off before I go back to work tomorrow, so I have so much to do. My hair is beautiful and lovely. I have so much to do. My phone was at like 30%, and then when my alarm went off, I went to hit snooze, and it like randomly dropped to 0% and turned off. At like, I guess this was at like, 515 and then I plugged it in and it restarted itself and then randomly sent a text message that I had sent on Wednesday to my coworker. <laughs> I was like, okay, we're off to a great start this morning. Like what is going on? But anyway, I did just take my allergy medicine and I'm hoping that helps. I forgot that we are entering the season of things blooming so um and it was really windy yesterday so that's possible that's what's going on here but my back is so killing me it's like it's worse again today like I don't know what to do it's just a, a pinched nerve kind of feeling like and it came out of nowhere and it's really like hard to sit certain positions like I'm leaning right now because it's the only way that I can sit comfortably and it's taking my breath away it's not hot to the touch and it's not red or inflamed or anything like I, I went to my massage therapist yesterday and Regina, Regina looked at it and it's fine so it's not like a blood clot but I don't know and I think it's too low to be a PE anyway it's not on, like the upper part of my where my lungs are but anyway I I'm in a lot of pain today I have a headache sinus headache my sinuses are all stuffed up I just keep like trying to breathe and it's just like not working very well. So I did take my sinus medicine. I took some ibuprofen, so I'm hoping that'll help. But I have so much I wanna do today, so I'm gonna try to just have a cup of coffee and like ease into things. And then um, I'll check in with my to-do list. I started filming yesterday my goals video and it is gonna be like two hours long. It's taking me so long. I, I couldn't figure out at first how I wanted to do it and I don't know. So I have my setup still on my desk here like my tripod set up here, which like 
Oh, let me see if I lean back, if you can see, it takes up like the whole desk. <laughs> so I wanna get this done so I can take this down, but I also have to do my plan with me today. But I have to print my planner kit and my planner, my printer is not working. So that's all around. So my plan is gonna have this coffee and then try to think about what I'm gonna do in the order of things I'm gonna do it today. And I'm gonna try to get this video done. And then I have to edit it. And it's literally gonna be like two hours long. Oh well, let's, let's, let's do this. My goodness, everybody, it's 4.30. I just finished editing my HB90 video. It took me that long. It's almost two hours long. It was over two, it was two hours and six minutes when I first put it in there and then I edited it and got it down to like an hour 50-ish. That's so long. Now it's the whole setup and it's a walkthrough of like what to expect. So people watching it who don't have any experience with HB90 can get a feel for if it would be right for them and how I do it, so. But oh, I'm so tired, I've been sitting in my chair all freaking day. So I'm gonna get my room tidied up here. I put the sheets on, I got some decoration stuff to put away, I wanna vacuum, just get this room set up to start back to work for my seven days, and then I'm gonna go from there. It's been a long day. I wanted to go for a run, I still probably need to, but I don't know. It's 4.30, I gotta do my plan for the rest of the night. So let's show you what we're starting with here. Definitely gotta put the bed together and then get these decorations up and I haven't vacuumed since last week, so this is what we're working with to start. All right, we're done. All better. It took me about 30 minutes to do all this. Got the vacuuming done, got the dusting done, remade the bed, put away the boxes. Husband took the boxes upstairs, so we're all good. Ready to start the week. Hello. It's Tuesday night. Hello everybody, <laughs> editing Fox from the future. I never closed out the vlog for last week because when I got home, so I did have an awesome writing session at the cemetery. I stayed probably a little later than I was supposed to. I was trying to get out of there like around sunset and I stayed a little bit dark until it was a little bit dark and I was really like in the middle of a scene, but it was so cool. The deer were like, as, as dusk was starting to fall, the deer were getting all active and like the little baby deer were chasing each other around and it was super cute, so. I had a really great writing session and I came home and then I started doing the meal prep and Layla Grace was right like under my feet trying to like see if I would drop anything that she could eat and she slipped and fell on the, she stepped on me and I was like oh my goodness because it startled me and she stepped on like an area of my foot that was hurt from my run and she got startled and she slipped and fell on the floor. She was fine but she was like a little shaken up so I thought to be nice so because she was upset, I would give her her little pup cup because she had a leftover pup cup. She had eaten like half of it and it was too big. So I gave her the pup cup, turned my back for like a second to keep cooking. She's never had an issue with pup cup ever. She usually like licks all the stuff out and then gives it to me and I take it and throw the paper cup part away and we're done. She ate the cup. Like she ate the ice cream and then she ate the cup. So, and I mean, like I just, was like watching it happen because she would not give it to me. She would not trade it for anything else. And she like swallowed it in like a huge chunk like this. And I was so worried that it was gonna cause an obstruction. It was gonna be an issue. She was gonna be unwell. Like that was the whole rest of my night was worrying about her and Googling things. And of course it happened at like 8.30. So after the vet was closed for the night, I couldn't call them. So my friend's mom is a vet tech and I was like, you think she's gonna be okay? The general consensus was like, probably it will dissolve. If it had some wax on it, it might take a little longer and it'll just probably get pooped out, but yeah. So that was the end of my Tuesday night. I had this like great productive day. I finished my video, I got it edited. I was doing meal prep. I went and wrote, like feeling like a real person. And then I think I actually ran too. I think I went for like a 30 minute run or something like that. So I got like some kind of fitness in, like it was, I was crushing my goals. 
And then Layla Grace ate a pup cup and I was spending the rest of the night worrying. And then I didn't sleep that whole night because I was checking on her constantly. So obviously, you know, a week later, she's fine. But it was very, very stressful because I was like, oh God, what if it makes her sick? And like, should I take her to the emergency vet? But like the stress of going to the emergency vet and like getting an x-ray or whatever they're gonna do, like probably not necessary because it's just a paper cup and like, you have to figure. So my coworker was so funny, she's like, we went to the farm, there's like a, a farm here called Triple B Farms, and that's where they go first, uh, the pumpkin patch. And she was like, when we were there, all the goats were knocking into people so that people would drop their cup of ice cream or whatever they had, and then eating the cup and then eating the food that they dropped. She's like, she's gonna be fine. I was like, you're probably right. But it's just one of those things that you're like, trying to get my life together, puppy. Why, I'm looking at her right now. She's looking at me, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, ma'am. <laughs> one of those things that you're like, could you not? Could you just not? So, but anyway, that was the week. It was kind of a like really rough week because I was not feeling well. I'm still not feeling great. I don't know what the heck is going on with my body, but I guess this, this is just your 40s. This is what it is. So doing my best each day, but thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you are new here. And as always, my friends, take care of yourselves and take care of each other. And I will see you in my next video.